doing this makeup look as well as this hairstyle put lots of hair products so if you're not someone that likes to put lots of hair products i don't recommend to do this hairstyle and we're just there watching seeing me getting ready all dodged on just keep on watching like comment and subscribe i would really appreciate Okay, so I start off by using my Wet n Wild concealer underneath my eyes. I didn't realize I wasn't recording. I'm like halfway through with my makeup. I'm sorry about that. I just keep on patting. And then eventually after I finish with that, I go in with the Airspun powder and my cotton pads. I prefer that over a brush any day. Then I go in with the contouring. I believe i'm using the la colors powder then i go in and i put in my eyelashes well yeah i glue my eyelashes on i got these off amazon right here i was debating whether i wanted to actually do the hairstyle that i had in the beginning because i was really already feeling it as is but nah, I made up my mind for once and I was going to go ahead and do the hairstyle. This is one of my favorite hairstyles. I've been doing it for a minute now. Right here, I go in with my comb. You part your hair like that. It gives an appearance of like a smaller forehead. And that's like the type of look that I was just going for here. Usually this is the type of look that I go for when I do the side swept um, hair on the side. I'm just making sure everything is laid down. I go in with the products that I will be using, which is the Extreme Gel. I put that all over my hair as well as some Gorilla Glue. I just prefer these products and putting this on my hair. Many will say it's bad, but it's the only way that my hair would stay put all day and at least for a good week if I decide to sleep with it. And this is why I love, love it. And thus far, my hair has been very healthy and it still remains thick and everything. I forgot to mention that the hairs in the back, I put gel on those so they can have little curls in the back. After I get my hair all laid and flattened and in place, I start putting my hair tie. I do like a half bun. I don't know how to really explain it, how I tie it, but I do it to the point that it's not too tight, but it's just right in place where it's not gonna move and it's gonna last me a good, week if I decide to leave it for a week and now all I'm doing is just putting the pins and adjusting how I want it to look the fullness and the thickness right here it's really all about playing with it and right here I'm just adjusting and fixing my edges because it really is long hairs that I make it look like my baby hairs. I mean, I have baby hairs, but I add more of the long hair so it can look thicker. I really rather do it like that than cutting all that hair off. I'm a very versatile person when it comes to my hair and I don't want it to always look like that. Here, I'm just fixing the laid part I just bring that part down and I just am fixing it and I bring that part all the way to the top I wrap it around it's up to you whether you want to put a hair tie another one apart from the one that I put you know in the beginning the one that's holding my hair right now but it's a really thin piece that it was, there's really no need to. All I did was just adjust it with the bobby pin and that's it. And from here, I'm just playing with it. Also, apart from um, 
the products um having my hair last a good period of time i also go for these products and put these products on because i like that wet look is the only way that i can achieve that wet look and it would be staying like that for a long period of time here i'm just swirling these baby hairs in the front because i want them to look swirly i fix my baby hairs in the back and then i'm all done this is the final look i really love this look it is usually my go-to when i want to look glam